Okay, are you ready, kids? Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. Welcome to this advanced tutorial for the 101 postage stamp themed Photoshop brushes from Photoshop Island. What you see on screen here is the finished results of the tutorial that you're about to see. So let's jump in. Okay, I'm just going to leave our first demonstration in place and create a new document. And I'm just going to work with a document that is a size that works good for uh, demonstration purposes, but uh, you can make it any size that works for the design that you're working on. And uh, I'm going to zoom this up a little bit. Now, if you have a problem, you can see I'm losing a little bit on the bottom edge of the screen. If you have a problem keeping everything on your screen, you can use this uh, views option here and have it consolidate your views and tidy them up and they will fit nice into your workspace. Now I've got a couple of uh, colors I've selected in the foreground and the background that I want to use uh, for the background of this uh, image. I'm going to use the gradient tool and just use the default setting here for the gradient. I'm just going to drag across here. Got a nice gradient. So I want to load some brushes. What I'm going to do this time though, instead of using uh, the uh, basic brush uh, option, I'm going to use the brush panel. And uh, let's move this over just a little bit so you can get a better idea of what we've got going on here. Uh, I'm going to go over here to the flyout menu. I'm going to say load brushes. There's a couple brushes I uh, want to use inside of the vintage stamps set of brushes. There are 23 of them in here. I'm going to load those. And uh, then if I go up here and click on the brush presets, I can see that those uh, brushes have loaded down here. And uh, I'm going to select this Lindbergh airbrush. It's not an airbrush, it's Lindbergh in an airplane. <laughs> not to be too confusing. And um, I want to show you how to do some interesting things here with the uh, brush shape itself. So if you look in this preview, uh, let me, let's... I guess my brush, my Lindbergh brush did not take when I selected it. There we go. If you look in this preview down in the bottom of this uh, brush panel, you can see that you, you get an idea of what you're getting. And you can edit some interesting things over here. I want to add some uh, size jitter to my brush. And um, let's see, I want to add some angle jitter. And I want to scatter that. I want that to go all over the place. So I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to drag it way out. I want it really to be out there. And let's see. Now we might go back and adjust our angle jitter a little bit. Um, maybe our size jitter give us a little more size range in here. I like this to, to be... Um, uh, I like to see a lot of range in there. Uh, this diameter... Uh, thing is um, keeping our sizes more together. So if the, it's based on the diameter of the brush. So the lower this is, the more uh, variance we're going to get in our brush. So we can kind of play with that just a little bit. Now, so we have all these things set for a brush. I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to my layers panel and I want to create a uh, new layer to paint on. And I'm going to pick a darker purple to paint with. Now, you'll see in this particular demonstration, it, I just get a crosshair. I can't really see my brush. Well, it's because these are high-resolution brushes, so uh, we need to shrink this brush down just a little bit for this particular uh, option. And uh, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can adjust your brush size up here in your uh, brush palette. You can see now that it's much smaller. Uh, but instead of going back and forth in here and kind of guessing where you want to be, you can also use your left and right bracket keys to go up and down in size. Now, I'm ready to paint, and I'm just going to just drag just a uh, little bit partial across the screen, uh, holding down on my mouse and painting. You'll see that I'm going to get some scattering uh, postage stamps all over the place. And I'm going to reduce the size of this brush just a little bit more so I can get a little more range with some smaller ones. And uh, you can see that I've kind of got brushes all over the place. 
or postage stamps brushed on. Now, if you don't like what you've done with that or you want to adjust the brush settings, since we did that on a separate layer, all we would need to do is just uh, select all and delete and we can start right over again. Which I'm going to do, I'm going to lower my brush size down just a little bit and I'm going to do a lot more painting so I can kind of get these things all over the place and uh, do something kind of a uh, little, I want a few more, po I want to be able to see more postage stamps on here. Now, we've got our stamps here, but we need some cancellations on these stamps. So I'm going to create yet another layer. I'm going to go down here uh, to the layer palette, add a new layer. I'm going to go back to the brush uh, options, and I'm going to select... I've got a couple of different cancellations. I'm going to select this one right here. This is the Oakdale cancellation. And I am going to pick black for this. And again, our brush is very large, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so that we can see it. I'm using the bracket keys. And then I'm just going to paint. Now, what happened is we didn't have any brush dynamic set for this. So let's select all that and delete it. We need to go back, just like we did before. We're going we're gonna to set our brush dynamics and we're going to put some uh, scattering in here and some jitters. Let's see, we'll just make some adjustments in here. Make my size jitter a little higher. Let's uh, push this out of the way. Now again, I'm going to paint with black. Now you can see I've got cancellations going all over the place. I'm liking the look of that. But uh, those cancellations are a little more intense than I wanted, so I th I'm going to adjust this layer to overlay. Now I think we've got kind of an interesting look uh, going on. I think I'm going to bring in one more brush. Let's go, let's use the presets panel, uh, or the brush panel, and I'm going to select this American flag one. And I've, again, I've got to come in here and set these uh, the uh, jitter and scattering. Now it's picking up the settings that we had before, but I still had to check them off. Let's see. We may not want quite as many of these, so might pull some of these things down just a little bit. Knock our count down a little bit. Uh, let's scatter on both axes just to do something a little different. I'm going to close this up. Now I'm going to create another uh, layer just in case I change my mind and want to do something different. And again, this brush is real high resolution, so we're going to bring it down just a little bit so we can see what we're working with. And I'm going to kind of scatter me some brushes around, or some cancellations. I'm going to set that one again to overlay. And now I have a pretty interesting postage stamp uh, background, kind of random looking background. You can play with these uh, layers and, and see if you want to change how they overlay onto each other, um, get some different effects uh, if it's too dark for you. Um, some of these are a little more interesting than others, depending on you know, the colors that you've already selected. I'm going to just leave that on uh, normal for this. So we have a ni nice background. Then uh, what I'd like to do is come back over to our uh, first demo. I'm going to drag the picture layer and the border stamp layer that we created before. And this is a CS4 thing that I'm about to do, but I want to get these two layers into the document we were just working on. So you can drag up to the uh, tab here and just drop. Now I've dropped that. It got dropped uh, some layers below our cancellations. So you can see we've got um, some crazy... I, I need to deselect my selection there. We've got our uh, picture kind of crazy here on the wrong layer. But I'm going to grab these two layers and move them to the top. And then I'm going to transform 
this to a size that fits what we're working with. Maybe do a little rotation. Scale it down just a little bit more so we can see more of the more of our background that we created. And then I'm just going to crop the whole thing so that we have a nice design with a nice edge to it. And we'll go up to Image Crop. And uh, there you have it. That brings this little island tour to an end. I hope you enjoyed this advanced tutorial for the 101 postage stamp themed Photoshop brushes from Photoshop Island. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras. From brushes to complete layered designs.